That is a beautiful sight. Hi everybody. It is, what day is it? It's Thursday and it's plus four. Look, I'm wearing a hoodie. I got just my pants and some rubber boots on because I don't have any proper like non-rubber boot spring shoes. All I have are winter boots and then like really light summer shoes, <laughs> which don't work when there's like snow and muck everywhere. So uh, yeah, heading up to the gym. I can already recognize a few cars, so I know I'm not going to be alone. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a quick workout. So I'm going to do a super set, a bunch of super sets, and then I'm going to go home and have snacks with my family because we're going to watch Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. So yeah, I'm going to get this over with. Bye. All right, I am done. I had to uh, change up my supersets a bit, ever so slightly, like nothing major, because it was actually really busy. And this one group of guys were like taking turns on the preacher girl. So what I did instead was um, I kneeled on the floor. Ooh, get your finger out of there. I kneeled on the floor and I did barbell curls, kneeling on the floor, and then and then went into my diamond push-ups. So. It wasn't different, like, in the article that I got the workout from, they actually used barbell, or dumbbells, barbells, dumbbells, um, weights, uh, for all the exercises, and I just do it on the barbell, or, like, the short bar at the gym, because it's easier, and I have the equipment, so why not, but I am thinking of getting, like, a set, two, uh, ten, two 10 pound weights for at home. So, because it is such, like, it's supposed to be an at-home workout that you can do anywhere. And, uh, yeah. So, I will get some 10 bell workouts. That way, I can still get this set done, even if I'm not at home. Because at home, I only have the, um, the kettlebell, which is great. And I love using it. And I'll just, like, randomly pick it up and do squats. Or, like, shoulder presses or extensions and whatnot. Like... I'll just use it idly as I'm sitting down um, but I can't I can't do like pseudo bench presses with it like I have like lied on the ground and just did it one arm at a time as if I was holding dumbbells but it's an awkward shape as you can imagine to try to like balance and push up and everything so yeah I want to go get a pair of uh, dumbbells I could have done that today I keep forgetting that I want to do this so yeah, I'm going to go home and shower and um, figure out what I'm going to eat for the movie. I think I want popcorn. That sounds really good. So yeah, I hope everybody is having a good week so far and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Look at that. It's warmed up since I left the gym. It was plus six just like a second ago. Fun fact, I don't know if that's real meat or fake meat. Pretty sure it's fake. I uh, made my supper last night and I just grabbed a packet of uh, frozen pre-made taco mix that I had in the freezer and I'm pretty sure the last time I made it I used like fake meat like vegan but vegetarian meat um, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is but I won't know till lunchtime <laughs> it's real meat so yes taco rice with lettuce carrots and that is a um, soy sauce, marinated egg with a bit of roasted garlic and pepper and it sat in a bit of soy sauce all night and I shook it up in the morning and rotated it as I did my shift. So this is my lunch. <laughs> Sir, could you move your truck please? What? Nope. <laughs> Hello party people everywhere. Woo! Um, yeah. It's Friday, so in the tradition of Friday night wildness, I'm going to go to the gym. Um, I kind of didn't want to because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I did supersets yesterday, so I didn't want to uh, do weightlift. I don't want to do weightlifting. And I didn't feel like doing a zombie mission because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like running for a half an hour straight. Just, just running that just feels boring but I want to do some sort of running so I downloaded a couch to 5k app I know I said before I didn't want to because it'd be like easy but I keep forgetting that the reason 
I want to download, re-download the Couch to 5K app is so that I can bump up the speed and like just make it harder. So um, to do a 5K in half an hour, you have to be going at like 6.1 miles an hour, which is pretty darn fast for me, that is. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Right now, the, the very first workout, it, the intervals are one minute of running and a minute and a half of walking. So I am going to try to do <clears throat> the whole workout um, going six miles an hour because I'm, I'm pretty sure I can, <coughs> excuse me, I'm pretty sure I can go uh, for a minute at six miles an hour. My little legs feel like they're flying when I do that, but I like a minute and a half, or a minute that is, with a minute and a half of walking between, I think I can do that. We'll find out. I'm gonna push myself. And um, yeah, I wanna see improvement. There, I know this year there's gonna be a local 5K in I believe May or June. And I'm really hoping I'm not out of town for it because I'm supposed to be going to a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert on May 26th. Um, <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited for that and either directly before or directly after the concert I am going to be going to Ontario to visit my family. Um, I'm either going to start off the trip, pretty sure I'm starting off the trip by going to, we're, we're all going to the concert together and then we're going to head back to Ontario because the concert's in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, so we're going to go to the concert, I'm going to head to Ontario for a week with my daughter. We're going to hang out there and then we're going to come back home. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't miss the 5k because that was the very first 5k I ran and I think it was just like adrenaline of like racing, racing with other people. It's a charity event for, um, Relay for, for Life and, um, I think like just the adrenaline racing with other people near the end, there is a lot of, there's a lot of hills around here. So there was a lot of downhill and I just really pushed myself like I latched on to one person who wasn't going fast but wasn't going slow and I tried to keep up with them and I ended up doing the 5k in like 38 minutes I was amazed I was like my mind was blown and that was about like I, I weighed less than this though so I'm I'm going to I'm gonna try to like either get that goal or beat that goal by time this 5k comes up 5k comes up and hopefully I'm not out of town during it because um, yeah I, I want to do that it's only once every two years I was really looking forward to try to do it last year but then I then that's when I learned it's only once every two years so this year is my year I want to get a like a better 5k I'm pretty sure it was 38 minutes I'll have to check because they let you keep the bib so on the back of the race bibs I have I've written my time um, I've done one 5k and one 10k. I'll have to show you where the race starts and finishes because it starts at this big archway that leads like to the tourist bureau in our town and it's on a hill. So when you finish, you have to like sprint up a hill and it is not a like, it's a very steep little hill. Um, but yeah, I would like to finish feeling better than I did that time. I think I will in general because of like I'm a little more conditioned to running. Mainly, I just, I want to get that time. I want to get at least like 35 minutes. That would be amazing. I would mind blown. Um, but yeah, so I, I, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this Couch to 5K program doing six miles an hour during the running parts and really trying to like push myself and get conditioned to those faster speeds. Because um, yesterday when I finished my super sets, I did like a quick run at five miles an hour. And I didn't last very long because obviously I was tired from like post-workout. Um, but I wanted to get in some type of like tired leg run. Um, and uh, yeah, running five miles an hour doesn't feel as fast as it used to be. Like not, not that it's like slower, but I feel it feels easier than it used to be. So I want six miles an hour to feel like that now. So yeah, I'm going to do the program. <laughs> it feels intimidating thinking of the later weeks when you get to like two minutes of running versus a minute of walking and whatnot like that. 
but I, I'm not gonna jump too far ahead and then like get them up like freaking myself out. So week one, one minute running, a minute and a half of walking between, and it's a 25 minute workout. So yeah, go me, let's get inside. All right, all complete. I was a little worried when it asked for my GPS and I was like, oh God, don't tell me it's not gonna record properly if I'm not like, if I don't have a treadmill option. And then it kind of like clicked in, like I started the run and the timer was still running, so whatever. Um, it doesn't even record the distance now that like I got it done anyways. That's in the like the pro, like full version. I got the free version. I'm not paying eight bucks for an app. Uh, so yeah, I just record everything in my Strava and I'm good to go. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, it was, it went well. I did good with the six mile an hour intervals. I think what I am going to do for the next run is bump up the walks to three and a half miles. Cause what I was doing was six and a half mile run, six mile, six miles an hour run and three miles an hour walk. Um, but the problem is that it ends on a walking interval before it goes to cool down. So I just do like six and a half minutes of walking. Um, so I'm going to speed up my my walk section to three and a half an hour, hours, miles an hour. It's not that much of a bo boost, but it's enough that's a little faster than just flat out walking. And it's still slow enough that I can recover between intervals. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm happy and I'm sweaty. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to head home. realize how windy it is. I uh, might refilm this part. Um, but yeah, so it's April 1st and exactly two years ago I started running. I put on some shoes, I went out the door and it was a nice-ish day and then it started raining and snowing and I came here to the tourist bureau and uh, I think I did like two kilometers and almost died. But uh, yeah, what I wanted to do today is to, uh, I was gonna try to redo the same route I did two years ago. Um, but it is super snowy. There is no way I'm gonna be able to go through that and not end up like, freezing off my feet. So I figured uh, while I was here, I would uh, just park real quick and take a little walk down to the bottom because I mentioned how uh, that 5k I want to do, uh, the start and finish is that welcome sign. The thing is, it's a hill. <laughs> so you start and it's nice running down the hill and then when you're, when you're finishing, not sprint. You gotta finish as strong as you can. All the way up. So hopefully I can uh, make it to that. If not, I don't know. I'll just redo it on my own because I know what the race route is. We go down the road, up to the highway, and then go over that way. Uh, there's this r street where the turnaround is so no I know I can do that like on my own I'm just making sure I'm not getting run over cars everywhere um so I know I can do that on my own it's just nice to have like a, a lot of people and when you're with people you push yourself more especially in like a race situation and it's not like a race race but I still I'm racing against myself and against whatever person I think I can try to keep up with I'm obviously not going to try to pass them but that like a uh, yeah my own personal nemesis they have no idea but they're that one lady last time she was she was who made me keep going and she didn't even know because I was following her the whole time. If she ran, she ran. I ran. And if she walked, I walked. And if she got too far away, I sped up to try to catch up. I knew I wouldn't be able to pass her, but I also knew it'd be difficult to keep up with her. And that's why I picked her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
I was really hoping that I would be able to uh, do the path I ran the very first time I ran two years ago, but um, as you can see, there's just way too much snow and muck and I can't, I don't want to, I don't want to put my, my good running shoes through this and I don't have any crappy running shoes. So uh, yeah, I bought two 10 pound weights. Let's see if I can get out of the wind. There we go. I bought two 10 pound weights and uh, that'll be good. I can now do like the uh, superset workout at home if I am not able to get to the gym. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to end this. I have to get home and I don't know, unpack my, the rest of my shopping. I promised my daughter chocolate milk. That was part of the reason to go shopping is because I needed to get more syrup. And I want to take a couple walks today, force her to come out with me and just do a couple walks around the block throughout the day because I'm currently in a Fitbit weekend warrior challenge. And my friend Ashley is already like 2,000 steps ahead of me and I had just passed her like an hour ago and then she just leapfrogged ahead of me. And so I like started walking around like, it's like perfect, I'm shopping. I'm just gonna like do a lot of loops. And then she like got more. So I think she's actually doing a workout right now on her treadmill or something. So it's like, damn, I can't compete with a treadmill in Walmart. <laughs> so yeah, I am going to say, Bye everybody, I hope you're all having a good weekend. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope that any tricks you get played on you or that you play on others are not too are not malicious. And uh yeah. Happy days. Bye.